What's up guys, Johnny here, welcome back. And today, we're out at our local high school because I want to show you something brand new that I got. It's not drone related, but it's something that's really got my interest lately and I want to check it out. Um, since the end of the, the racing season, I actually got really inter interested in one wheels. Uh, we had a couple pilots that had one wheels, they brought them out to the field, and towards the end of the season, I found myself thinking, you know, at each race, like, man, I hope uh, Jay Cameron brings his one wheel, I might be able to get a minute on there and try, you know, flying around. And uh, it just got me hooked. And I picked up my own one wheel back in November, uh, rode it as much as I could throughout this winter when it was freezing cold, it didn't matter. Absolutely loved the thing. Anyway, that got me hooked on PEVs, and to me, the ultimate PEV to learn is the electric unicycle. <laughs> so yeah, so I just picked up an electric unicycle. Just came in the other day. I wanted to learn the skill because to me it seemed like the hardest one to learn, but also the most rewarding. And I don't plan on getting rid of the one wheel anytime soon. I absolutely love that thing. I think that thing will be the most fun PEV you can buy, but I really want to learn the skill of an EUC. Now, it was really intimidating to me. It looked really hard, which is kind of what made it exciting to learn as well. Um, and so what I ended up doing is I just got the thing two days ago. Um, it was still snow covered then. We've had a lot more melt since then. Um, but the only way for me to try it was really in my basement. So what I did is I watched a couple of tutorials on YouTube. There were two really, really good ones, uh, most specifically by Ustride and EVX. So I watched their tutorials and I decided I was just gonna do what they told me and learn how to ride this thing. So I went in the basement, I started doing my little leg moves, I just put it on there, learned how it worked. The really interesting thing about that exercise to me was how much control was through the toes and the heel more so than just manhandling it with the leg. So at first, I was really just trying to push my leg around and then it was kind of like fighting the wheel. Then I started just pushing lightly with the heel and the toe and all of a sudden it started doing all the work. That was actually really enlightening. So that was a cool step I never would have done on my own. So that was, you know, thank you to those guys. From there, I found a wall in my basement. I just started learning how to go forward and back. What does that feel like? So the toes, press on the heel, stay in a straight line. After that, I started going along, walking myself along that wall, learning how it works to move forward. From there, I said, how can I go three feet without touching the wall? Can I go five feet, 10 feet, etc." And then once that was done, I started trying to go around in a loop in the basement. Uh, that was really tough, um, especially because it's such a small space, there's no place to get wrong. And I tried to work on my left turns and my right turns, and I could sort of go around in the basement, but that was really tough. Uh, especially how it was right turns. For whatever reason, left turns are easy, right turns are hard. I don't know why, apparently that just happens. Anyway, after this process, that took about a two hours of total, and I gotta tell you, my feet, my ankles, my calves were killing me. So it was definitely a good workout, and much more of a workout than learning the one wheel. I noticed like I was dripping sweat at the end of 20 minutes. That's, that's what kind of experience it was. Um, but there, I was just waiting for a little bit of the snow to go away. So with two hours experience, I took it to the driveway, and I was actually shocked. That basement experience really helped. I was able to ride around my driveway. Uh, I hit over 13 miles an hour for whatever reason, just going up and down my driveway. Now, today's the first day I'm taking it out to some actual place with some space. This is our local high school. I plan to ride around. But the key lesson I want to embark to you is it's not that hard. It's harder than the one wheel to get on it the first time because it doesn't self-balance. You can't just like stand on it and be okay because the tire is so much more narrow. It wants to fall to the sides. So it takes longer to get over that hump but after an hour or two, for me at least, it ends up being pretty similar to the one wheel after an hour or two, um, which is kind of fascinating. So it's it's a little bit harder at first, but it quickly ramps up to be similar to that one wheel experience. So you can do it if you're interested. And I think these things are just the coolest thing ever. I love going to the local stores, local grocery shopping, picking things up on my one wheel. This thing now gives me up to 40 miles range and something that weighs about the same as a one wheel. So to me that just opens up the possibilities of where I can take this to, what I could pick up, what I could bring home. So that's why I'm learning it. I'm taking you out here at the field. We're going to see how we do like in a larger space. Hopefully it goes well, but uh, wish me luck and uh, let's share the ride. All right guys, so here we go. My very first time riding the electric unicycle around in an open space. Um, as you saw, I rode a little bit in my driveway, but I gotta be honest, I was actually scared to leave the driveway. There's a little bit of a lip into the street if I went there, I was scared to go down it. It's kind of a tight little turn to go onto the sidewalk. I hadn't done a turn like that, so I was a little scared to do it. So I wanted to find a nice big open space to make sure I could you know, give this thing a proper ride and not be too scared about um, you know, having to turn too quickly or in tight space. So I went to this 
a high school property and it's absolutely massive so that was really cool um so this is this is me again after maybe two and a half hours at this point so i spent two hours in the basement spent about a half hour in the driveway just kind of doing loops around that you saw uh that went well but i wanted to go somewhere with a little bit more open space two and a half hours in on the electric unicycle here we are riding around um a little bit of wobbles as you can see not perfect balance but you know i'm just getting the hang of it this is just me starting out um and, and here we go so coming down here you can see i'm actually going over that little bit of a lip i was a little bit nervous to even do a little bit of a lip like that just because i hadn't done it before on the electric unicycle uh, but now on this open street just going straight I'm probably going about 10, 11, 12 miles per hour, um, and it just feels totally natural. Again, that's not a really fast speed by any means, but that is a cruising speed on a one wheel pint that I'm used to. So it feels at home. I feel like I'm getting around about like I would on a one wheel. Um, and to me, it's just, it's really empowering seeing what it's like just getting into riding an EUC, just learning that process. Uh, the really big thing to me to point out is really that I was intimidated by the EUC to start. I'd seen so many videos online talking about how difficult it was to ride the EUC. And for that first hour, it was absolutely true. It was the case. The big thing with the one wheel is you can stand on it, level it out, and just stand there and learn to balance without having to worry about going forward. When you get on any EUC, if you try to just get on and stand still, you just can't do it. It will fall over. It's extremely hard to stand still with it. So therefore, in order to learn how to balance it left and right, you have to also be going forward and that's intimidating. That's what makes it hard for that first hour. So using the tools that we learned through the U-Stride and the EVX video, learning how to kind of use a wall or another obstacle to keep yourself upright and then learn to start moving while also balancing left and right. That's really what got me over the hump to learn how to do it from there. And then after that first hour or so, to me, it's no harder to learn this than a one wheel. And that wasn't what I expected online. And, you know, things may vary for others, but I really do want to stress that with a little bit of time, it's not that hard. I picked this thing up just, you know, three days earlier. This is me on the very first weekend after getting it, cruising around, exploring this property, feeling very comfortable, not like I'm going to fall, but instead, you know, I feel like I'm going at a reasonable pace, getting around, learning how to control it, and I'm having a lot of fun in the process. Um, again, taking a little cautious there to get up on that hill, but, but that's totally fine. Uh, for the one wheel, I've been riding that thing for four months. You know, for the EOC here, again, this is day number three. So to me, I'm really, really impressed with the fact that you can pick up an EUC for as cheap as they are, get around this property, see the whole property, learn how to ride in a couple hours. And so I'd stress to you, if, if you're interested in these PEVs, there's no reason you can't learn to ride um, an EUC as well. And just like you, there's no reason you could learn to, to ride a one wheel. Uh, one thing I'll point out too is you see all these like little cracks in the road as you're going over them. What kind of caught me by surprise with the EUC was that even though this is a small EUC and it's a 16 inch tire, it really soaks up all the little cracks in the road. You do not even really feel them as you ride. I know riding my one wheel, I would probably be feeling these thud, thud, thud each time I go over them. So as I'm heading back to the car now, <laughs> um, you can see here it's actually a little bit funny because it's a little bit of a tight maneuver for me and I'm going a little bit slow so it's harder to balance and I get over the salt. So again, I'm brand new to EUC still. It's still a little bit tricky, but I didn't fall. I figured it out. I kept my balance. It got a little awkward, but I still made it over the car just fine. And for my first, you know, two and a half, three hours of riding, I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, as you can see on the total trip, I hit a max of 16.1 miles per hour. I had an average speed of 10.2 miles per hour. Um, you know, not record setting by any means, but totally comfortable for getting around. Now you can see I did actually bring my one wheel pint with me. I was curious now the first time I had ridden this area with the EUC, I wanted to see what it feel like with the pint. I was just talking about how riding over these uh, concrete um, cracks in the road you feel like you don't feel anything when you're riding the EUC but when you're riding the one wheel you know I assume there'd be this thud 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 sort of feeling um, and that was absolutely the case at least with the one wheel pine it's a bit of a smaller harder tire and so whenever you go over thuds and small things you just feel them in your feet you feel them as you go and it's nice from a feeling the road perspective but it's definitely not as comfortable you can see it here you can just see like a little drop each time it goes over each one like thud 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 and over time that stuff kind of adds up um, and I was really surprised at just how well the EUC, um, even with the small 16 inch tire, like I said, really eased these things up and how comfortable it made cruising around this property as compared to the one wheel. 
Now, as I'm riding the one wheeler on the property, I, I did check it later. I know it was a little bit faster. Uh, you can see the speed bump I go over there. I'm definitely more comfortable going over speed bump with the one wheel. I had actually tried that earlier with the EUC, and it was pretty scary. Um, I made it over it, but it was a bit of an adventure. Um, feel definitely more comfortable on the one wheel, but again, this is four months into the one wheel. This is my third day, three total hours riding the EUC. Love riding the one wheel, absolutely. Um, I probably rode 12 miles per hour average on the one wheel, 10 miles per hour average on the EUC. But either way, I can get around the whole product in either one. And for how little time of that EUC, that just told me everything I needed to know. Now you can see I had so much fun riding the EUC around. I got to the end of the day and I had a chance to get out again and go to a local park. And I took that opportunity and I went out there. And just every single ride I'm taking, I just feel a little bit more confident. I'm going around the small path here. I feel totally confident I can make every turn. I can break if I need to. I can carve as you're seeing going around this, uh, this park here feeling much much more comfortable again given that I just did the probably 45 minutes 11 miles at the school I had done the the practice in the basement uh, this is probably three and a half hours in and here I am going through the park feeling totally comfortable I think I'm traveling a little bit faster now probably averaging 11 12 miles per hour um, I think I had a top speed of 18 miles per hour in this different run um, you can see here I'm actually going up a hill it doesn't really look like it on camera but you know, this is a weaker, smaller EUC, but even then, it has more power than the one wheel. It eats up this hill no problem. It's just a whole different feeling to me, and I'm really, really enjoying that freedom of exploration that I'm getting with the EUC. I probably enjoy riding the one wheel more still. It's more fun, more maneuverable, and other things like that, but the EUC is really, really rewarding. Um, the other thing for me, too, is when I grew up, I did a lot of skiing. I absolutely love skiing. And riding the EUC for me has a lot of that skiing sensation, that feeling. Uh, one thing that I learned with the, e with the one wheel was to always make sure to bend your knees because your legs act as, as a shock absorber. So if you hit any bumps on the road, your legs will bounce a little bit, keep you planted on the board, keep you planted on the EUC. And when you're learning to ski, it's, it's very much similar. You're always having your knees bent. You're absorbing the change in the terrain with your legs. And you're doing the same thing here. You get that burn in the legs, <laughs> that burn feeling, that sensation. I really miss that from skiing a lot. And now I feel like I'm skiing outside, you know, on the concrete and all sorts of different locations. Even though I live in, you know, Michigan now and uh, without the mountains and such, it's still a great way to get that sort of sensation. And as you can see, again, little you know things in the road I'm not worried about them at all I feel comfortable I can just go around them I can turn left when needed feeling totally comfortable on this thing three and a half hours in and I really want to stress to you you know it is a lot of fun if you're interested in EUCs or even one wheels there's no reason why you can't learn it with a little bit of work you know try the same guys that I followed follow them yourself you can learn it and you can start having fun don't be intimidated that's what I really tell you and anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. Hopefully you guys liked this and uh, found it helpful and enjoyed it. 